All right. So, do you see the screen here? Okay. Can you read that? What does it say? Okay. So, we are going to create an optical illusion drawing. An optical illusion drawing. Are you excited? Yeah. So, Ashley, you know, uh, before uh, we could start drawing, right? So, we'll talk a little bit about uh, optical illusion, and also I will uh, show you some example work. Okay. So, example drawings or artwork that is relevant to optical illusion, right? Okay, and uh, I also like to know from you people, uh, like what you actually know about optical optical illusion. So can you tell me, like, where do you see optical illusion, or any example, so any idea that you have regarding optical illusion, an illusion now? Where do you see it? You can just type in the chat box. All right. And one thing is, sometimes optical illusion can also be like magical, right? Have you seen people doing magic? You know, sometimes they make things appear, and sometimes you know they make it disappear, and have you seen people who create artwork you no know, which uh, you know you could only see from one particular angle from one particular place have you seen it yes give a thumbs up if you have illusionist exactly see illusionist they create this uh, you know illusions which kind of confuses your brain yeah okay so let me just move on to the next page okay so see this image over here this is actually a plain 2d drawing but it creates, uh, it gives you an illusion of a uh, wavy thing, right? Yes. Okay, and uh, let me show another one. See this? Yeah. What do you see here? Can you tell me what do you see here? Does it look like as if it's going down? There is a, you know, it creates illusion of depth, right? It, it, it seems as though it has been dug out, right, from the paper. But actually, it is just plain lines. Do you see? It's just plain lines and it has been shaded with black and white that's it yes and it actually creates illusion of depth yes understand okay and here again is the same thing but a little bit different see uh, i mean uh, it's just colored the same technique so you just draw these lines and then uh, you know you just color it with different prompts anyway it gives you an illusion of depth right okay and i will show you one more thing what do you see here? Can you just type your answers in the chat box? Can you tell me what this is? Football. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a mixed answer. Someone, uh, someone, if you have a watermelon. <laughs> okay. Strange. Great. So I am getting so many correct answers. See, actually, this is a form of art where, you know, the image will be stretched out. It will be unrecognizable. So in order to see what exactly the image is, right? you need a, a cylinder like this, like a reflective cylinder, right? When you place in front of the image, you get this uh, image and you'll be able to see the actual image. Yes. Have you seen uh, any art like this? Yes. Have you seen this before? No. Okay. That's all right. I mean, it's the first time, right? So anyway, so this is called anamorphic art. Okay. And I will show you one more example. See this? Actually, you don't recognize this image at all, right? It, it, it feels so, it feels low as if uh, it's an alien, right? But when you see the cylinder, then you'll understand what it is. Yes. Can you tell me what image this is? A squirrel. Exactly. Like a wolf. Exactly. Yeah, it does look like a wolf. <laughs> great, great, great. And the other image, you no, know, uh, towards its side, right? So what do you think this is? It's simple, right? It's a tree. Exactly. Very good, guys. All right, so let me move on to the next image. Yeah, can you tell me what this is? What do you see? Quickly type in your answers. Oh, I have four answers already. A lady, a lady. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to ask, uh, do you see an uh, old woman or do you see a young lady? Just type in young lady or old woman. What do you see? A young lady, old woman, young lady. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it seems as though the lady is turning towards a side like towards the right side see okay that's a young lady with the neck here but when you see this overall image it seems as though this is an old lady right this is a nose her mouth yeah which creates an illusion of uh, you know having two images in the same i'm sorry two pictures in the same image right and here one more uh, example okay a village exactly elephant <laughs> yeah you see have you tried creating any art like this? It doesn't have to be very complicated or, uh, you know, very pretty. You know, you can just create a simple artwork. Uh, I mean, it's just your idea, right? So 
to create something from your imagination that is more important even if it is not very pretty or you know it's not very complicated that's fine okay make it very simple and then it should be something that you like what do you see here quickly a duck 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 do you see any other image a swan exactly <laughs> i think one person answered it anyway i am getting so many swans and duck and crow great actually you see i mean some kind of bird a duck mostly right now what i mean uh, see what happens if i just uh, turn this image right what do you see now <laughs> rabbit exactly rabbit rabbit great 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 so you liking it it's quite weird and also it's uh, it's interesting right yes okay so now guys we are going to create a similar artwork okay so we're going to draw a picture and you you're going to uh, identify two two uh, animals or birds in that all right so are you excited to do that are you ready to do that you want to do okay and for this activity like i said yes 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 thank you so for this activity you'll be needing uh, a sketch pen okay and your sketch book okay so you have a sketch book or uh, some drawing sheets uh, get your sketch pens ready and then something to color with right okay now can you see me uh, see this workspace over here guys you can great i'm already getting answers let me check thank you and uh, yeah now i wanted to uh, know like i want you guys to tell me like what the... a whale yes of course it is a whale and then elephant <laughs> great whale elephant whale elephant yes great guys so um shall we learn how to do this how to draw this and then we'll color it you ready okay guys just give me a thumbs up everyone one more time i just want to see everyone yeah and you're ready with your sketch pens right you just need your sketch pen oh let me just put it here okay ready and your drawing sheets okay i'm just going to use this uh, rectangle drawing sheets you can use your sketch book okay great 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 and actually i will have a few more of these i actually wanted to show you i almost forgot great now let me also show this one what do you see here a dog yes hippo <laughs> okay what else do you see a dog and rhino exactly good one guys good one good one a pig <laughs> really maybe i can make uh, made this pink right maybe then uh, it will look like a pig yeah all right okay now tell me what this is <laughs> any guesses a dino yes yes okay a shark a caterpillar <laughs> salamander wow that's a unique answer donut come on man this looks like a donut <laughs> okay a lizard anyway so yeah let me just first show you this now you know what this is right a snake a lizard a snail a dino yes exactly so this looks like a dinosaur anyway i'll tell you quickly what this is okay then tell me like if you could recognize it see imagine this is the head okay and this is the eyes and this would be the nose the mouth uh, sorry the mouth what do you think this is and actually the color is a little bit weird <laughs> okay does it look like a sleeping uh, giraffe let's assume because giraffe have these uh, horns right tap yes 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 okay thank you for the yeses i think now after i'm i know me telling you then you recognize it okay great so let me just uh, uh, let me just start up with this whale and then we can move on right take a white sheet a drawing sheet or a drawing a sketchbook or something okay watch this okay let me just show you so we're going to draw the head over here okay so first watch carefully place your uh, pen like this and just draw a draw a curved line like this and then i'm going to draw one more curved line which comes down like this something like that we're going to give a small smile next 
over here from here you can just draw a line that comes down and you can stop it so it now it looks like a big uh, dome or n shape right done give a thumbs up if you're done great up now all right next step see i've drew a n like this and then now i'm going to draw a u okay something like that okay so i should have said this earlier itself so this is going to be the n and this is a u so n u all right another u here okay awesome now after drawing this from here right from here we're just going to draw a small u like this let me just make this a little bit longer okay done and then watch this i'm going to draw a line that comes down like this it's a curved line again done and then i'm going to draw one more line that comes down and i'm going to join it like this all right guys next step watch this okay so i'm just going to draw maybe the trunk or the tra tail okay so just like this okay 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 let's draw the trunk or the tail okay just a curved line like this just a curve here and then a small curve like this okay and then just going to draw like a curve v like how you draw a bird right <laughs> okay so we almost done here very good pbs anushka that's great what about the others can you just hold it in front of your camera just show it, show your work in the camera good good pratiksha very good so we'll just draw the eyes right so we're just going to draw a dot and then a line okay and it's almost done guys what is next what do you think is left to do you know actually you can make this creative like if you want to add any other details you can you know, make it unique now i think uh, i know this would be it for me so next step would be to color it right yeah and uh, let me just show you the other one see i've used green but you don't have to use green you can use any any other color right so make it colorful if you want to use uh, you know use two colors like a gradient you can all right make it different make it your own okay shall we start coloring uh for this probably i'm just i just use this pink and i'm going to use my brush pen you can use your uh, color pencils or oil pastels or you, you can also use crayons if you have so whatever colors you have you can use and then okay let me just quickly show you how i'll color all right so i i mean it doesn't matter like what color you're using always start from one side okay from here look how i'm coloring all right so you start from the corner or the edge of the drawing and then you don't have to overdo it don't just do like this you just i mean if you're using a brush pen otherwise um anyway <laughs> just carry on guys all right so you just color from one side like this i always uh, i mean color the outline first and then i'm just going to fill in yeah and it looks like whale stripes right see okay so can you color it Finish everyone. 
Okay, so if you finish coloring, you can just uh, show it. Uh, and no, just hold it in front of your camera. Just show it to me. I'd like to see it. Hey, I can see VBS Anushka you made it so unique, man. Purple and blue and light blue. Wow, that looks amazing. Good. Very good. It looks much better than mine. Abhinav, yes, yes. The others, yeah, I mean, can you just hold it for a few minutes? I mean, like uh, 30 seconds because I wanted to see everyone's. Yes. Hey, that's so nice. Good job. Okay, now shall we move on to the next one? Okay, so I'll give you a choice, okay? So we are going to do the dog or we'll be doing this one, the dino. Which one do you want to do? Just type in, type in your answer. So uh, I'm getting many dogs. Probably I think I'm just going to go with dog. Okay, ready everyone? Just give me a thumbs up so that uh, I know that everyone's ready with your materials. Ready? The others? Okay, cool, cool. All right, guys. Okay, let's start now. Watch this, okay? Just follow my instruction and then draw along with me, all right? So first, watch this. We're going to draw a line, a curved line again. Like this. Everyone. And then we're going to make it like this. What do you think this is going to be? Snake, lizard, tail. <laughs> okay, thank you for the answer. Anyway, next, watch this. Draw a curved line like this. Oh, made it too much curved. Anyway, doesn't matter. And then a line like this. See, I've drawn one curve like C line and then this is an inverted C, right? Like a opposite C. Draw it like this, like a U. Done. Am I going too fast? Okay, next step, we're going to draw a curved line like this, like an N, but it is a little bit slanted. See that? Yeah. Okay, great. Next step, watch this. All right, so we're going to draw one more line like this. Okay, done. And then a U here, a U line like this. It's just like, you know, uh, up and down lines, U and U and it's just like goes on like snake, right? Anyway, so you just break down into like N and U N U, so it'll be easy for you, right? Next, watch this, I'm gonna draw another line like this. Again, the same step, right? And this time, this time I'm gonna draw a line that comes out like this. Okay, next, watch this. Draw a line. Make a line like this. So it goes up and it's like a upside down U or N, like a big N. Next, we're gonna draw a line that comes down and it curves a bit. All right, so let's join this up. Okay, so just move this up and then make a small curve here. Now, let's draw this. Okay, watch this. Draw a line like this. Okay. And this side. Exactly. So let's draw the eye. Okay. So see, just going to draw a circle. Draw a circle like this. And I'm going to draw one more circle inside circle like this. And I'm going to shade it in. Oh. Okay. And we have to draw this eyebrow. <laughs> it looks like a weird puppy that you have ever seen, right? But that's okay. Guys, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Probably you guys are going to draw much better than myself, I guess. All right, 
great i think uh, that's about it so we have to just start coloring so anyway next step will be to color it again you can use any colors hey before that let me just see uh, see your guys work now can you just hold it in front of your camera can you hold it up so that i know that you have not done so much uh, I, I know that everyone is completed okay let's get uh, start coloring okay so again uh, you just use this as reference i've used um, i mean like sandal color here like a little ochre but you can use any color all right you can also use like two or three shades make it gradient yeah okay let me use oil pastel this time okay you can use any color mm, which color do you think i use i'd use orange fine Again, you start from the corners, I mean the edges. Okay, start from the edge. And then you start coloring. And always go left and right, like sleeping lines or standing lines. I I don't know if you've heard about this, like sleeping lines, and this will be standing lines, like up and down standing lines, left and right are sleeping lines. So you can either do left and right, or you can either do up and down. So any one, yeah? So let's do left and right now. Sleeping lines only. Only at the corners or only at the edges, you will be uh, doing this curved lines, but otherwise it's just going to be left and right, left and right. All right. So I'm not going to color this fully, but I want you guys to do it. All right. Good one, guys. All of you, good job. Very nice. Okay. So let me just close this. All right. And now I'm going to show you something. Again, I'm going to press in something and we're going to talk a little bit more about, um, you know, this optical illusion art, right? So let's take a quick break on drawing and then we'll talk a little bit about optical art, right? So yeah, let me quickly share my screen. All right, guys. So now listen. So we done the optical illusion art and also showed you some examples before, right? So I also want to show you another, uh, you know, type of optical illusion. Okay. You're ready. You want to learn some, uh, you know, additional facts about optical illusion. Yes. Tell me if you guys are excited, you want to learn. Great. Awesome. Okay. Now I'll tell you, uh, I'm going to show you one more, uh, artwork. Just see this. All right. Okay. Have you seen this picture? Have you seen this type of uh, a drawing before? Have you seen? Yes, you have, right? Yes. Great. Okay. This is called the impossible triangle or it's also known as Penrose triangle. All right. And this one, uh, it's actually, I thought, no, uh, we do this as well, but no, it requires more time and uh, this time will not be sufficient. So I thought I'd just explain to you, like, no, we just talk about this a little bit. All right. See, if you see this, it is actually impossible to, uh, you know, for this to exist in uh, in reality, right? But in drawing, it is, uh, you know, we made it so uh, possible. But anyway, if you think about it, you know, imagine like if you're rolling a ball from here, you know, it comes here, it goes down, and again it comes up, and it's so uh, confusing, right? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And there are like so many other artworks like similar to this. You can get it, uh, you know, online like internet if you just say so. So many uh, different types of optical illusion. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, let me also show a different one. Okay, guys. Let's do this. Can you tell me like what do you see here? Okay, a face, face, face. Yes, no leaves. Exactly. So this is supposed to be, sorry. They're supposed to be tree. They're supposed to be a tree, but there are so many other hidden features, right? I hope that everyone can recognize it. I just want to know, like, uh, uh, I want you guys to tell me, like, how many faces you can spot. Can you tell me how many faces you can spot? Yeah. Bahat Singh. Exactly. See, guys, you can also recognize some of the faces, right? Great. Now, first thing I want to know, like how many faces there and secondly, if you can spot or identify any faces, that'd be great. So can you just type it in the chat box? I want to know, listen, actually, um, 
even i was a little bit confused about like uh, whether there are 10 phases or 11 phases right see when you include this one it becomes 11 but uh you know i came across that it says like this is going to be a single phase anyway 11 phases right you are right guys 11 phases so if you get the answer you see here it says 10 but i think there are two phases here. even the person person has made a mistake here all right there are 11 phases great see this this artwork here it gives you an illusion but it's just like plain drawing right it's just 2d drawing but it gives you an illusion of depth yes okay and one more activity here see let's quickly go through this all right so can you tell me so when you look at these uh lines right so do you see this line straight or do you see it is like it has been like inclined or is it like bent yeah type your answers guys okay see actually it gives you an illusion of as if it's uh it's like bending right it's inclined yes it seems as though like this is this line comes down and this line goes up right but in reality you know what if you uh, blur this out right if you blur this image you, know, you get to know the, these are all straight lines there is no bent line okay these are all straight lines but you know it give you gives you an illusion as though it is like bent right all right see guys uh, you now we can do one more drawing but i want to give that as a homework as well so see um, you know we're going to draw something now and i want you to color this at home okay can you see the screen guys okay do you want to do this we'll do one more quickly all right great so yes keep this aside take a fresh paper a drawing sheet and then we'll we'll get start drawing okay so observe this one time okay last drawing okay okay watch this and just follow my instructions see just draw a line like this and then we're going to draw a curved line that comes up okay from here draw a u line till here and then we just extend this line a little bit all right so let me just extend this a little bit okay from here watch this i'm going to draw a line and i'm going to make it like touch this over here okay watch this Draw a line that comes down and then it touches here. Done. All right. Next step. You can move on to the next step, right? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Great. Watch this. I'm going to draw a curved line. It comes down like this. I'm going to draw another line and then join it. Okay. And one more line. All right, guys. Okay. And what is missing now? <laughs> exactly. I. So let's draw the eye. Just one dot here. That's it. And one more detail. We can actually make this a little bit dark. Like shade it. That look like tail or uh, I mean tail of the bird or the nose of the dog. Yes. Eyes. Yeah, we already did the eyes. We know just one small dot is enough. Okay. All right, guys. So this one, you're going to color it at home. All right. As a homework for one last time. Can you just hold all your work? Like whatever you've done today. Can you just hold it like this? Can you hold it like this in front of your camera? Everyone. Uh, maybe like two of your work, like the best two of your work. You can just hold it like this and show it. Yes. Okay, guys. Awesome. So nice to see so many. So many works. Wow. That looks great. Wow. Almost everyone has done it.